a pretty busy agenda today, so let's get right to it. Um, first up this week is uh, the viewer managed marketplace transition, and we have Brooke here to give us an update on how that's going and where it's going. Yes. Um, so, hi, everybody. Um, so, at this point, we have migrated all of the merchants, um, and overall, the migration has gone really well. Um, we have seen some minor problems um, that we're working through, um, but so far, we haven't seen anything happening on a large scale. Um, one of the things that uh, I did want to bring up to this group is that uh, we did not handle communicating the change to our schedule very well, and I wanted to apologize for that. Um, we're definitely going to try and do better uh, in letting you all know when we're pushing people to start using one of our new viewers. And so um, we've discussed it and we'll do better next time. Um, but we, um, we are here now and um, we have migrated everybody. Um, we have gotten some feedback from customers that we're using to update our knowledge base documents. And uh, Skylar and I have been working closely with particular customers who've been seeing issues uh, to make sure that we can address them in a timely manner. Uh, the next steps that we're taking will be to shut down X Street, and the plan at this point is to do that um, starting on August 17th when we'll shut down magic boxes from being able to deliver items and then take down the X Street site on August 27th. Um, we, uh, we have been... Uh, working very hard to make this as smooth as possible. So if there are some additional things that we should be doing, definitely let me or Oz know. Do people have any questions? I don't think you can answer the one question that I have, and that is well, when is the viewer, the BMM viewer? Let me get out my magic eight ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, um we're, right. You can't tell sort of answer that. We're hoping it will be soon. Um, but we we uh we can't can't predict. We'll we'll know more after this weekend. Yeah, okay. So thank you, Brooke. Sure thing. Um so if you if anything does come up, um with customers as as they're starting to use your viewers that we can do to help with communication or knowledge based documentation around just how VMM works, um, definitely drop me a line and uh, and we'll make sure we get that communicated. Okay. Presently, we're sending them uh, to the commerce. Uh, the forums. Yeah, the forum on the commerce. Yep. So. Yeah, and we monitor that pretty closely. Um, we don't always engage directly there because um, we try to do a lot of that through JIRA or through one-on-one -on -one conversation because it's a little bit more effective at getting information. Yeah, v VMM and, uh, uh, and Jira, Windows 10 are it, it's a system and it does work. eating up all our support at the moment. So. Jessica, I don't know if other people are having the same issue, but for me, you are a teeny tiny voice far 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 away that was a gesture that somebody just played that was not actually me i can you're actually really quiet jessica i can almost hear you yeah, i turned her up i just i had to turn you up fine to me now oh cinder here okay it was cinder playing that gesture am i a little better yes I'm on a better new yeah phone i unfortunately sat on my headset <laughs> uh so i had to buy a new one. Oh no yeah, you might want to crank up the gain on it a little bit, but you're you're good now. You're you're good now. Good. Great. Um, okay. Well, um, if there are no other questions, I'm going to jump off for now. But um, 
and I won't, um, I think there's a meeting next Friday that, um, I think I might have a conflict, um, but I'll make sure that I give Oz any information that needs to be shared with you all as well. Thank so you. thank you, everybody. Um, see you sometime in the not too distant future. Bye. Later, Brooke. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, we have a bunch of other things, but I want to quickly run down the the list of upcoming viewers it hasn't changed all that dramatically um, but uh, we should do the ritual anyway viewer managed marketplace of course we've just been talking about um, the latest iteration of that has only been out for a couple of days so we don't have as much data on it as we'd like yet but it's so far it's looking good everybody please keep your fingers crossed if that continues well it will be the the, the top priority viewer from promotion next. Uh, uh, we also have the importer improvements, uh, a maintenance viewer. Um, there's a project viewer for notifications, uh, which we've been getting some good testing on. Um, and uh, there's the graphics quick preferences viewer, uh, which has both the change the quick switching of graphics preferences uh, and saving sets of them and the um, new and improved uh, avatar rendering, um, avatar complexity limits. Uh, I'm running that one right now, so you're a very colorful crowd. Um, and uh, hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll have a Rift viewer. Um, again, an update. So, uh, but, but and, VMM is definitely next, right? Uh, it is the top priority as long as nothing terrible surfaces, right? Like you mean the terrible chaos that's going on right now? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, with the, the you know, a horrible viewer crash or some bad side effect that the viewer is responsible for. Okay. Um, um, as an indication right now, of our intent to release that as the next viewer, you will notice that we did not release anything in its place last week. Did notice that. <laughs> right. We very much intend to make that the next release. Oh, good. <laughs> so, um, we'll see. Uh, everybody, everybody, uh, please do whatever it is you do to encourage the world to come out right. Um, okay. Uh, other stuff. We actually have a bunch of other stuff to talk about. Um, the status feed, um, the, the grid status, RSS feed. Um, we are going to try again to move it to a newer and more modern platform. Uh, Stephen is here to ask answer any questions we have. The URL will not change, but the format uh, that it points to will change from RSS version 1 to RSS version 2. Um, so anything you have that's reading it will need to be updated. Um, we will have a uh, we will have it set up soon ish so that you can begin testing against a new URL. Um, Steven, do you have any update on that by chance? It's actually ready right now. So that ah, there you go. made it up status .net slash feed is uh, our proxy that will take you to the, uh, to the new format for the RSS feed. And is that going to be kept current? That will next... be kept. That will be kept current. Yes, and then right. as soon as we're ready to cut over to the new one, uh, we'll just cut over status.secondlifegrid.net to point to the new website. So the format isn't actually going to change between beta and and production. Right. So if that, that makes sense. So that one is live now, and you can begin testing against it to see whether or not anything you use that reads it will work um, and uh, sometime late in the fourth quarter November December 
we will flip status.secondlifegrid.net slash feed to point to that. And um, the old format will stop being available and uh, that will be the end of that. Is there um, an email, because uh, my dev who handles that on our back end is in I, here today. I will. I, I was waiting to send an email until I had this URL, so I will I will do that after the meeting. Okay, and it, is there an email I can uh, give her to contact if she has specific questions? Uh, that's, by default, that's always me. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and I will, I will front for whoever is really making changes. Um, so that, we think this time it will stick. We, we, we tried to do a similar change a while back. You, many of you remember the minor chaos that ensued, but we've got it sorted now. Um, so that will be, that will be that. Um, parcel and region damage. So we, we've been thinking about the list of, um, programs that, um, uh, that are issues that you all filed. And we have, and I put it on the agenda page here, we have a set of proposed new behaviors that we're going to have to implement, um, both some viewer changes and some simulator changes to govern how, uh, how this works. So you can either click on the URL or scroll the screens around you. Um, so the idea is that we will now, it, we will in the future have two controls for in the, in the region configuration. Uh, one that decides whether or not to allow damage. That will by default be off. And a second control to determine whether or not parcels within the region can override that setting. Okay, um, and then in the about land floater where you have parcel settings, uh, you will have a safe uh, setting, which is the inverse. Um, that is, if it's checked, it's don't allow damage. If it's unchecked, it means allow damage. Whether or not that is that control is enabled will be governed by the allow parcel to override damage settings at the region level. Um, by default, parcels will be able to override the region settings. Um, so I, this allows that all. As well? um, yes, right. Uh, excuse me. Uh, parcels will be able to turn damage on you, said? By default, yes. By default, but it says, okay, on the proposed new behavior, it says allow, behave, allow damage and it's off by default. That's allow damage at the region. That's the oh, region okay. setting. Okay. All right. So right. it's going to be on at the parcels. Gotcha. Gotcha. So Shut up, Ed. it will. It, this allows all four possible configurations, right? Yeah. Um, it, it allows on at region, on at parcel. You know what the four combinations are. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, that works. That works. And these are the these are the controls that that we'll have. Um, I don't have. We have not gotten to the point of figuring out how long it's going to take us to change things to this. Uh, so I don't have anything even remotely like, even internally, I don't have anything like dates, much less externally. Um, but uh, this is the plan. We wanted to run it by you bef and, and make sure everybody was cool with it. Um, it looks like a really and, good plan. And then we'll implement it. Yeah. Okay. I don't see any... I can't see any scenarios that... Right. That and then the, the the behavior in our viewer will be that the damage icon icons won't show if you're in a place that doesn't allow damage, and they will show if you're in a place that does allow damage. So yep. my only concern is when we make this change, it's possible that uh, we could mess up people's current settings. Uh, well, and as long if you guys make an announcement, and we can follow that with an announcement as well, so that everybody can be at least advised that this may happen. Um, 
and then they, as long as there's documentation on how they can fix it, I can't imagine that would be so bad. Right. Uh, unfortunately, you know, communications getting out to everyone is a pipe dream. And so I think some amount day. of, Message yeah, of some amount of drama will still ensue and support oh, will probably course. be unhappy with me. <laughs> I mean, that's um, inevitable. But um, <laughs> yeah. if you use the message of the day, we'll use ours as well. I mean, everybody sees that. Yeah, yeah, but not everybody reads it. Most people, most people don't read, but that's that's the thing. As long as we have something we can point them to that sh tells them how to get what they want, we're happy, right? Right. Um, we're not. Uh, the The plan at this point is not to make this settable at the estate level. It will be settable at the region level only. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so, um, that's, that's the current, that's the current plan. Um, so we'll, <laughs> I hadn't really thought of it that way. Uh, so, um, the, uh, there, there also, one of the things we haven't sort of finished thinking through yet is given the current state of affairs and given the new set of controls, is there something clever we can do to make the new controls be set to the right things automatically when we've done the transition? Um, we'll try to figure that out. If we can't, it may well be that, you know, people are going to have to do some manual repair. Uh, but as, you, as we said, we'll, we'll try to put out plenty of notice. Um, and the other... We'll try to figure out a way to preserve current settings as much as possible, but I can't promise that we will because we're introducing a different settings matrix than we have. Yeah, it's today. different. Well, right. like, I mean, it doesn't sound like it would be that difficult for people to adjust their settings anyways. A few clicks and they're done. So, I mean, combat regions might be out of combat for a couple hours or something at first. Right. The other question that I haven't mentally gotten my head around is, is it better for us to release the viewer that supports this first and the back end doesn't work, or is it better for the us to release the simulator the viewer, first? Do the viewer first. Uh, well, I'm with Jess on this one simply because of the experience we're having with VMM, honestly. Well, and updating the viewer, as you guys know, is, is a pain in the ass for people. So by giving them getting the viewer out initially, maybe a week or two prior or even sooner than that, uh, getting it out sooner... Um, at least that is one less headache that people who have well, to make changes to will have to deal with. That'll be done, yeah. and then all they got to do is, once it's enabled on the back end. Yeah, we'll have to think about that. Because um, what'll, what'll be true, it, w during the period when they're mismatched, that is, when we've released one and not the other, right. uh, you just won't be able to change the settings, in, in effect, right? Those settings won't be modifiable, yeah, and we can't yeah. we can't make everything come out exactly at the same time. It, it, you know that doesn't work. Yeah, and it really doesn't matter if you put the viewer out first or do the back end first. It just ain't going to work. Yeah, I mean somebody's going to somebody's going to have to switch viewers to do something. Oh uh, well. And well, uh, you know, people Did seem to be touchy about that. <laughs> Uh, uh, they are. Trust, <laughs> trust me. Do, do, do you know how many times we tell people, can you just try it on the Linden Lab viewer, please? Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't do that. Yeah. All right. We do it. Uh, uh, so that's where damage stuff is going. Um, and uh, we, th we think that will be a nice, stable situation once we get there. Um, let's see. Um, down at the bottom here, we had the unified snapshot floater feedback and discussion. Um, is Naren actually here today? I don't see him. I don't see him here. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have actually been reviewing that and we're, we're going to take nearly all of it. Um, so look for those changes coming at some point soon. Um, the, uh, <laughs> No, Cinder. Um, Legal won't let them. Yeah, they've got a problem with it. Um, the uh, so that's look for that in a future uh, open source contribution viewer. 
Um, most of it is really great. There are a couple little minor things that we're going to have to tweak, but it's it's really great stuff. Um, and uh, one other thing that I forgot to actually add to the agenda, uh, but we've got some some improvements coming on the simulator in a in a in a soon to be released simulator version that correct some problems that can cause content loss for notocopy objects. And um, this is yet another one of our um, outcomes from our studying of inventory and content loss issues. And uh, Aura, are you here somewhere? Uh, I don't think she is. Doesn't no. look like it. No. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to want to do um, is to do a pylon test for that. Um, we're tentatively scheduling that for noon next Friday, uh, and we'd love to have – it is simulator changes only. It doesn't require any new viewer behavior. Um, so we'd love to have some third-party viewer participation in that pylon test. I will send out a notice on the announce list next week, but – uh, but the tentative scheduled date is Friday of next week. We'll have some regions on Aditi, and the goal will be to just do things with no copy objects and make sure that all the right things happen. What are the um, improvements exactly? Uh, there were some race conditions uh, that could cause, when there are res failures for no copy objects, you could end up losing them. Oh, uh, right. And we think we've fixed them. Um, so, uh, I, I, I decline to comment on, on, on the specifics because I'm not sure I've got it right. So, um, but we will have a note with, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, we will have a note with, with the particulars, uh, but there, there were significant changes to, to get this all squared away. And um, so we don't we don't want to just test the scenarios. We do want to test the scenarios we think are are fixed now, and I'll have a list of what those are. Uh, but we don't want to just test those. We want to test basically everything you might want to do with a no copy object. Um, Good question, Whirly. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking that. I did. I have. <laughs> I have no reason to believe that it will have any effect on restore the last position. Um, but we can, I can ask that question. We can test that Friday. You can test that. Um, so uh, look for an email on that sometime during the week next week um, for particulars. Um, lots of us are going to be getting together for the first part of next week for our uh, annual summer Second Life uh, idea exchange and planning conference. So, you mean uh, barbecue? That too. <laughs> that's on Sunday. That's not next. That's not during the week. Next week, then we, we we do the we do the picnic on Sunday, and then we work for a few days. Um, but we actually do get a lot of work done. Uh, so this is where we get together and decide. You know. What are some good ideas that we should be working on for the next six months? Uh, Making or, restore to last position available to everyone. Shh, shh. Uh, you know, I don't think we've got a, pr a proposal on that. <laughs> um, um, I, as far as the pylon on Friday, can... Uh, do the participants need to be on the linen viewer, or is it okay if they're on? No, no. Viewers? We, we, we specifically better? want we, we want specifically want as many different viewers as we can get. Excellent, Takota. Could you um, see if you could organize the beta group? Uh, Katie's not here, but if you could organize beta group, see if they want to go. I'll throw it out to the support teams. Uh, the info. Okay, well, we'll get the email from us. How soon can yeah. you get that to us, Oz? Like, how much notice? Uh, it'll be midweek next week, probably, because um, people are going to be 
we're 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 getting near the end of Friday and and people are already starting to go home to pack to travel and so forth. Um, most people are traveling on the people that are traveling are mostly traveling on Saturday, so um, so that they can be here for the picnic on Sunday and be awake. Um, okay, and Grumpity, you said you had something not on the agenda. All right, I just wanted to point out uh, that currently on our C is, uh, on all three RCs, so is the group query race condition fixes uh, server version. And uh, hopefully this will address some of the uh, problems that uh, we've been seeing where actions on groups fail. Uh, need a second attempt to complete joining groups uh, was a problem. Uh, managing groups was a problem, and uh, uh, fingers crossed that should address most of the issues. And I hope. Excellent. Thank you, Worley. That's good to hear. Uh, I hope that answers uh, Marie's earlier question. Was that it? So if you want to see, you can log in and try on a hurt. Coolness. I'll be very glad when that one's fixed too. That's number three on our uh, support list at the moment. Um, okay. So as far as Firestorm release goes, the uh, goal still is um, when Linen Lab releases VMM officially, uh, we will then merge that into our repository, uh, build it on beta channel. It'll sit in beta group for a day, uh, then go to our preview group as a preview, and we'll publicly, we'll do a blog post telling merchants that they can go, if they need it for um, their marketplaces, they can go and download it, like join the preview group and, and download it through the preview group. And then the plan is a week from then, that we will have it out in a, in a formal release as well. So basically, like if you guys release VMM on Tuesday, um, we'll release Tuesday, or uh, we'll, we'll have something in preview for maybe Thursday, and then probably a full out release at some point the following week. Right, well we should have uh, enough data to make a decision by the beginning of next week about about uh, that release. So everybody hope that things go well over the weekend. Yeah, big time. Yeah, uh, I have my Ontario, fingers crossed. Uh, Whirly, don't so touch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody, pile on Whirly. Um, keep her from crying her. I, I don't know how to break this to you, but I have to protect her. <laughs> yeah, we got to protect her. <laughs> um, and Serial can't be with us uh, in SL, but she's in our development chat, and she has a question. Ask him, him being you, Oz, uh, when you're going to pull the Windows 10 version detection, unless you want to keep the XP stuff in the viewer. Uh, we are going to, we, in fact, I think we may have already integrated the Windows 10 detection. I, cert, I gave it to somebody to integrate the other day in our next open source contributions viewer, not the one that's that I'm running right now with the graphics changes, but the one after that. So we, we will certainly get that integrated. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that we can skip fixing that with FMODX. I assumed that was the case and just go straight to integrating the contribution we already have for FMOD Studio. Um, so we've got that, we've got that contribution. I just haven't used it. We've just had too much in the viewer pipeline lately. Any word on, um, uh, it must be Friday. My brain is dead. Uh, Vivox updates. Uh, I have not heard from them in a couple of weeks. Uh, last I heard from them, they had uncovered one, you know, just one more bug, and were and were working on that. 
Um, but I have not heard from them that they've finished it. Um, so, I mean, I have a, I have a build, I have a, a repository with a bunch of fixes and a, and a regular build running and every now and then they commit something to it. Um, so I would expect to see a project viewer sometime soon, but, uh, I'm even less able than usual to make predictions about how soon that might be. I normally meet with them at the beginning of each month, so I would expect to get an update from them before our next meeting, our next third party viewer meeting, which given that we're summertime, I should check to figure out when that is so that I can tell you before we leave. Uh, uh, let's see. I actually I had one scheduled for next Friday. That will probably be preempted by the pylon, though. In which case, it will be two Fridays from then, twenty first. Okay. Um, I don't have anything else. Support? Do you have anything? Uh, not really. Just. Uh the normal let Nizzy know that we've got uh, you know, uh, VMM, Windows 10, and uh, th they're the two biggest things at the moment. Uh, Didn't I, I read somewhere in one of our support, in the noisy support chat, somebody said that Linden Lab told him to clear cache because the group chat wasn't working? Oh, like, yeah, we've had that a few more times, Izzy, just so you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give you an example, a, a really, I'll, I'll give you a really <laughs> silly example, and this one I know for a fact, uh, users control panel in their Linden home stopped working, and they were told to clear their cache and relog. Surely that's going to fix it. Oops. Well, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, the, 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 there's a big difference. Uh, that the, the, this particular user found a big difference between uh, going filing a support ticket and f going to uh, live chat. Uh, live chat was, if I remember correctly, live chat was useless in this case. They were the ones that told them to uh, uh, clear their cache. So. Do you guys still contract uh, a company for your Cool, Lizzie. Uh, some of it. I don't know how it breaks down. Coolness, is he? I'm looking forward to better news. Uh, I'm marching, marking August 21st on my calendar is sit at home the entire day. Better, better news day. <laughs> yeah, better news day. <laughs> we're, we're trying to keep up a steady stream of better news, though. Well, Actually, quite honestly. We're doing a pretty good job, aside from the... You know, the VMM timing thing, but... Yeah, well, we got to throw in a curveball every now and then just to keep you on your toe. <laughs> it wouldn't do for us not to leave you with anything to complain about. Well, that's uh, right, because then we'd have nothing to talk about these meetings. Well, that's not true, Jess. I mean, we're, we're pretty fair. We smack you when we think you're doing something wrong, and we give you kudos when we think you're doing good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, we're fine. Yeah. Um... Okay, any other new topics? Uh, just we, listen to anything Izzy whispers. Yeah, uh, don't worry, I always listen to Izzy. Uh, <laughs> we, the new inventory flattening tool has been tested on a few test users and, and worked for them. Uh, I don't think it's actually out. It's been approved for use in production yet. Uh, is Kyle here? Kyle, is that true? You were you were watching that. Uh, can you see the question again? I was uh, the, reading email. The um, the inventory flattening transform. 
Uh, uh, or unflattening, still, I should say. Right, that is still in uh, QA. Uh, we're close. Right. So we're very, very close to being able to being able to tell support that can throw that particular switch. Uh, it has it has worked in testing for some people that were having problems with it. So uh, that part is all good. Uh, well, Jess is here, and it's not even quarter two, and we're done. Is, is that what you're telling me? That's because it's a really nice day, and and you want to get nice out. Nice weather, and it's a long weekend. You can't go outside yet. You still have no, to talk. No, because then I have a meeting with you after. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let you get to your meeting, and everybody else can do the standing around and gabbing part. I think we should do these meetings on like a Monday instead of a Friday. Uh, well, we we can we can discuss <laughs> changing it to a different day. Mondays are terrible for me, as a matter of fact. It's by far my busiest day. But I'd, I'd be happy to move it to a different day of the week if you guys think well, it's better. needs to be a day as he can well, make no, it. We so. have to have Grumpy coming. But it's just because Friday afternoon, we all want to go home. Yeah, well, that's a plus. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose that keeps the meeting shorter. <laughs> um, I, I'm more than happy to move it to a different day if, if, we, if, if, it, if it turns out that it's better for people. Um, We'll we'll put that on the agenda for next time. And in fact, it would be much better for me during the summers because I'm because I take lots of Fridays off and I wouldn't have to duck those. Um, yeah. See, for me too. In the winter, any day of the week is fine, even on the weekends. In the <laughs> summer, I like my Friday afternoons. <laughs> right. I, I can I can completely sympathize with that. I think Oz will be moving the meetings to any weekend days anytime soon. No, not happening. Uh, all right. Bye, folks. I have lots to do. See ya. Thanks, Oz. Take care. Um. Ed, I shall meet you at the airport. Uh, thanks, right. everyone, and have a good weekend. Thank you. Later, folks.